Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hope has an extreme reaction when she sees a ghost and Steffi can't shake a weird vibe. Today on the bold and the beautiful, Hope can't believe her eyes, Rich wishes he could help Steffi, and Charlie provides comic relief. At Deacon's place, Finn tells Sheila he still can't believe she's there. They thought they lost her. Sheila's not going anywhere and never wants to be apart from either of them ever again. Deacon assures her he wouldn't allow it. Finn agonizes about thinking they could build a relationship and thinking she'd died. I just don't want to be apart from you either. Tanner Novlin, Sean Cannon, Kimberlyn Brown. At Forrester, Hope discusses her line with Ridge and Carter. Ridge thinks RJ and Zend have come up with some good stuff already. Luna will pick up the slack. Hope will keep on top of them. Just then, Steffi comes in apologizing for being late. Ridge questions, Steffi? Steffi says she just needs this nightmare to be over. Deacon keeps going on about Sheila being alive and it just needs to end. Steffi sits and Carter and Ridge complain about Deacon not knowing when to quit. Hope apologizes and will go speak to her father. Steffi asks her to tell him to stay away from Finn, they're done with everything to do with Sheila. At Deacon's place, Sheila croons about him never giving up on her. He says he saw the ten toes and wasn't ready to let her go. Embracing her, Deacon says he wasn't the only one. Just the possibility that she was alive was enough for Finn to help him find her. They go over Sheila trying to protect his wife and kids. Deacon goes on about the power of redemption. Finn has to believe in her. Finn says, well I do. I believe in you. Sheila grins. At Forrester, Ridge thinks Sharp has really lost it. Carter's sorry for what Steffi's going through. Steffi complains that Deacon has gotten into Finn's head. Carter's hopeful that Hope will get through to him. Steffi checks her phone and Ridge says, he's probably just busy. Steffi's just getting a weird vibe. Lawrence St. Victor, Torsten K., Jacqueline McInnes Wood. Suddenly, Charlie walks into the office. Ridge reminds him what a closed door means. Charlie walks back out and then knocks. Charlie complains about a parking dispute. It's about to get ugly out there. Ridge urges him to go fix it. Charlie admits, Ms. Lucas scares me. Ridge tells Carter to go deal with it. Carter takes Charlie with him as he goes. Ridge tells Steffi everything will be okay. Hope will get Deacon to stop talking about Sheila and she'll never have to hear about her again. Lawrence St. Victor, Torsten K., Dick Christie. At Deacon's place, Finn goes on about him and Sheila getting a second chance. You offered your life to protect my family, to try and save Steffi from sugar. Sheila says they're her family. It's devastating that Steffi thinks she killed his mother. I'm sure it's caused some tension in your marriage. Finn admits it did. Sheila wouldn't want that, he deserves to be happy. Finn just finds this all unbelievable, Steffi didn't kill him. Just then, Hope comes to the door and calls out for her dad. Deacon tells Sheila not to hide. He just got her back and isn't going to pretend she's not there. He opens the door to Hope, who tells him he can't keep going around town telling people that Sheila. Just then, she sees her and faints. At Forrester, Rich recalls how he used to be able to make everything better for Steffi with a hug and a kiss. He rants about the Sheila thing that won't go away. They're all there for her, even Hope. Steffi doesn't think she has the guts to tell Deacon to stop with this ridiculous theory. Ridge is optimistic that Hope can convince him that what he's thinking isn't real. Steffi says Deacon can stay in his apartment counting toes over and over again, Hope just has to convince her father to stay away from Finn. At Deacon's place, Finn and Deacon have Hope on the couch and are calling her name. She begins to come to and Finn tells her she fainted. She sees Sheila behind Deacon and sits up with a bewildered expression. Sheila was stabbed. Finn tells her to take deep breaths. Deacon says, what you're seeing is real. 
Hope shakes her head. No, Sheila is dead. Finn says her father was right all along. Sheila's alive. Sheila ventures, it's really good to see you, Hope. She looks like she's seen a ghost, but it's really her in the flesh. I'm not dead. At Forrester, Ridge urges Steffi to go home, but she needs to work. She can take care of herself. Ridge complains, this is too much what you've been through. Steffi recaps that she took a life, even if it wasn't a life worth living. Ridge says the only good thing Sheila ever did was give birth to Finn. Steffi can't believe she gave birth to such a good guy. He doesn't deserve any of this. Ridge is sure that whatever Deacon's trying to sell him, he's not buying. Steffi says he is getting into his head, Finn has this weird connection to Sheila. Ridge doesn't get it. What if Kelly and Hayes had been there when she, Steffi, stops him? Don't even say it. She's dead. At Deacon's place, Sheila tells Hope she's sorry she scared her. Hope shakes her head, it's impossible. Deacon starts telling her the story of Sugar. Years ago, Sheila tricked Sugar into getting plastic surgery to look just like her. They looked identical except for the fact that Sugar had ten toes. Sheila says she wanted revenge and abducted her. Finn explains that Sugar broke into the house to go after Steffi and the kids. Hope says, so, Steffi didn't kill Sheila. Deacon says no, and chuckles that it all comes down to those nine beautiful toes. Sheila insists she's a changed person now. Finn recaps that he didn't believe Deacon until he saw Sheila with his own eyes. I'm glad that we found you and that I'm going to be able to have a second chance with you. He slings his arm around Sheila. Sheila is my birth mother, and she's alive. My mother is alive. Hope gops at them. The bold and the beautiful spoilers tease Sheila Carter is back, and her man Deacon Sharp is determined to never let her go again. BMB rumors have hinted some shocking spring nuptials on the soap opera for a while now. Will Deacon convince Sheila to say, I do, after her miraculous rescue? Here's what's coming up next on The Bold and the Beautiful, spoilers ahead. The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, Sheila Carter finally finds love. Before Sheila Carter was kidnapped, held hostage, had her identity stolen by evil sugar and was presumed dead, she and Deacon Sharp were discussing marriage. In fact, the only reason Deacon was dragging his feet was because he feared a wedding would destroy his relationship with his daughter Hope Logan. Sheila Carter has had a tumultuous romantic history on The Bold and the Beautiful. Most of her relationships on the CBS soap were scams, either she was playing her partner or he was playing her. Against all odds, it seems like Sheila has finally found someone who genuinely loves her and wants to be with her, despite her past. Deacon Sharp and Sheila Carter get married? There's no doubt in the bold and the beautiful fans' minds that Deacon Sharp is hopelessly in love with Sheila. His heroic rescue and refusal to give up on her will only solidify their relationship. After everything that Sheila went through, there's a good chance Hope Logan will have a change of heart and actually sign off on her dad heading down the altar. According to BMB rumors, it won't be long before Deacon and Sheila revisit their wedding talks. They could shock everyone involved and elope. It seems more likely that the writers would use the opportunity to include Finn and Hope in their parents' ceremony and give them more on-screen time together as they inch towards a new love triangle. Are you happy for Sheila Carter and Deacon Sharp? Will they shock everyone and get married after Sheila's brush with death?